Alright, hi everyone, Audrey Bunny here and we are back for more Imagine Fashion Designer. So, uh, I had a problem with me with me uh, streaming a while ago, so here's a retake of what I'm doing right now. So, yep, we're just doing some quests and stuff to trigger the next storyline. So, yes. Ew, no. I think sandals looks good on her. Uh, wait a minute. We even have stiletto sandals. What about this? No. Don't have any gold colors for that, so... This one looks nice. So yeah, let yeah, we're done. We're done. Okay. <laughs> I freaking liked what I did with the pattern. So let me just save the game. Okay. And then let's do another mission. Okay. Jewelry! So we're complete with the requirements, so let's start! Oh my god, she's glitching again. Clara, I have to admit that I absolutely love silver jewelry. If you could make me some necklaces, bracelets, and earrings in silver, that would be wonderful. Okay, so you want... Three silver necklaces, lots of silver beads, and pendants with no precious stones. Okay, three silver necklaces. So, one, two, three. Sorry for the freaking game bug. I did everything to fix the game, but seems like it's really the game's problem, not mine. So, yeah. This is silver, right? Okay. Lots of silver beads. Okay, let's do that. Let's fill you up with silver beads. Okay, next you want three silver bracelets. Okay, the same with your uh, necklace. So let's match that with your necklace. Okay, last but not the least, you want silver clips, two silver beads. Okay, same. So let's do that. Oh my god, she's glitching. Okay. Okay, we're done. Look at her face, it's so creepy. <laughs> Once again, you've impressed us all with your talents. Now you're a hip designer. You're one of my top collaborators. So congratulations and let's get out the sh- Wait, what did he just say? <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. Let's save the game as always. And then on to the next one. You want to have a catwalk. So let's start.
Clara, I haven't had time to look at your work. Could you arrange a showing for me? A sort of private mini fashion show? Okay, let's do that. I love what I did with the freaking dress. I love the patterns. Okay, finally we're done. Um, I don't know what I want. <laughs> I want this one. Maybe this one. This one and this one. Okay. I suspected Kim of being involved in the illegal trafficking of animals, but the journalist had asked me for proof. Where could I get it from? I thought it might be a good idea to go back to the basement and actually go into the laboratory Scott had told me about to take a few photos. For that, I needed a camera and, of course, to get into the laboratory. Only Scott could help me. Okay, so we've triggered the next storyline, so let's go to Scott. Hello, Scott. I need your help again to try and put a stop once and for all to the experiments being done on those poor animals. If I managed to take some photos, we'd have proof of the trafficking that Kim's involved in. Okay. How can I help you? Can you get me into the laboratory on the fifth basement floor? Sorry. No. That room is under constant surveillance. Entry to it is controlled by a fingerprint recognition system. Kim is one of the few people who ever goes in there. And to top it all, an alarm goes off at the slightest attempt to get in. An alarm? Yes, but don't worry. I know how to turn it off. But that doesn't solve everything. How can we imitate a fingerprint? No idea. Hello, Scott. Okay. How can I help you? And do you know where I can get a hold of a camera? A camera? Well, you could try the photography workshop. 
Duh, Clara. Are you dumb? Good idea. I should have thought of that. My god. Okay, let's go and get the camera. And then probably find some stuff. Kim stuff for the, uh, her fingerprints. Yes. Oh, looky over here. There's a camera. Right. To get into the lab without being noticed, I need to pass the fingerprint recognition test. Perhaps if I use Kim's prints, I can fool the machine. I need to find some objects Kim has been handling. Um... I don't know. Let's try... The common room first. Okay, so I see a cup over there. Kim always drinks from this cup. Her prints must be all over it. Right, now I need to find a way to remove the prints. Hello, Carol. Do you know anything about removing fingerprints? Not a thing. But ask Steve. He's played quite a few detective roles in police films. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. Have a good day. So I think Steve is in the lobby. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's talk to him. Hello, Steve. Hi, Clara. Have you ever played the role of a detective in a police film? Yes, I have. Why? I was just wondering how police get a hold of people's fingerprints when they don't have the proper equipment. Oh, that's easy. Find an object the person's been holding and put some transparent, slightly sticky tape over it. Clear tape, for example. The fingerprint will then appear on the tape. I'd never have thought of that. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome, Clara. Okay, let's go back to uh, Scott's office. Hopefully he has that tape. Okay, I think he has. Roll Excellent! Tape. Clear tape! I can use it to stick Kim's prints on! Great! It works! I should be able to get into the lab with this! Oh. Okay, now let's go to the freaking lab. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What a brainwave! The door is opening! Good. The door is unlocked. But there's still the matter of the alarm to deal with. I'd better call Scott and see what he can do. Scott, it's Clara. Everything's fine. I managed to open the lab door. Well done. I'll take care of the alarm and call you back. Aw, uh, yeah, we get to control, Scott. Let's see. I know that all the alarms in the building are controlled by one central panel. No, nothing behind there.
It's not there. Let's look somewhere else. That control panel is certainly well hidden. Great. That's just what I was looking for. Now let's see how to switch off the alarms in the basement. That should do it. We better hurry and let Clara know. Hi, Clara. Mission accomplished. The alarms have been switched off. Excellent. Thanks. Keep me posted. Bye. Well, that was fairly easy. Okay. Time to go inside the lab. So this is the famous laboratory on the basement fifth floor. What a horrible smell. It's worse than I'd imagined. And all these poor animals in those tiny cages. How do they survive? This can't go on. This trafficking has to be reported. The handcuffs are all bent. The animals must have been struggling to free themselves. Who would ever want to wear Eclat Ardent perfume again after having seen these pictures? That's the last time I used those creams. I hate to think what those poor animals have gone through on this operating table. Don't give up now. I'll soon get you out of here. Right. I've got enough photos now. Let's set the animals free and get out of here. Hold on. Where are the keys to the cages? Those must be them. Four numbered keys. Come on, let's get to work. There you go. You're free. Scared? You can come out now. Out you come. Hurry up. Come on. Out you come. You don't have to be scared. Out you come. Hurry up. Quick. Faster. Run for it and don't come wandering around here again. Uh-oh. <laughs> the F just happened. Oh, we can continue the freaking quest. So, I'm guessing that's it for now. Okay, let's start the photography. Clara, the people organizing the dinner would like to see the sponsor's dress before the big night. Could you send them some photos of your work? Okay. So you want two vertical photos, no filter. 
on a gray or black background. Any composition. Okay. This is gray, right? But now yeah, let's stick with this. This is black. Any composition. Okay, next you want three horizontal photos, no filter, on a gray or black background. Portrait. Okay, gray or black. Let's let's freaking change the uh, background over here. So let's try this one. This is gray or black, right? Okay. Portrait. Ew, she freaking blinked. Okay. So let's select... I want this one. I want her posing on this one. And maybe this one. And then this one. This one. No, let's not do that one. This one. Aw, almost perfect. What's wrong? Oh, the composition, dude. Fudge. <laughs> okay, so we're done. Wow, we've leveled up. You've come a very long way. You're in the Vogue... Wait, what? You're the in Vogue designer. You need to reach the last level, Fashion Star, before the end of the month. You've got 18 days left to do that. Yay. Clara, I'm all ready for my charity dinner. You've done a marvelous job. You really are a multi-talented young lady. Thank you. I know, I'm aware. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so I'm guessing more missions. Yeah. But before that, let's buy some stuff. We have lots of tokens. Buy the cheap ones. Oh no. I can no longer buy stuff. Really? Okay, let's just buy these. Okay, we're done. Let's go back. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let me save. 
I don't want to lose my progress. Okay, more missions. Okay, we're complete with the freaking requirements with this one, so let's start. Add tissue paper magazine. The Japanese fashion magazine tissue paper. <laughs> what the fuck would name a magazine tissue paper? Order a creation for the cover of their 20th anniversary edition. Okay, let's start with the beauty. Oh wow, it's Nelson Sullivan who is speaking. The people who work for the magazine Tissue Paper are extremely meticulous, which means that you need to be equally meticulous. Just give it your very best and everyone will be satisfied. Okay, so she wants an alabaster white or champagne foundation. Okay, uh, let's stick with the uh, alabaster, even if it's too white. Good thing it's no longer a uh, buggy. So that's great. Okay, next you want pink blusher and lipstick. Okay, pink blusher and lipstick. Oh my god, uh, her blusher looks weird. Okay, maybe that's fine now, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Next, you want pink lipstick. Okay. Okay, next you want Asian stickers on the eyelids. Is that even possible? Um, okay, <laughs> how is that? 
wait a minute. Okay, these are Asian stickers. Chinese dragon. On the eyelids, this kind of... Okay, uh, that looks weird though. Uh, let, let's not use that. <laughs> let's try bamboos. Bamboozled. She got bamboozled. Uh, that looks weird, no. What about this? Eh, what about this? Mmm, meh. Let's stick with this one and then let's connect it with the uh, eyebrows. Oh my god, no. Okay. I guess that's fine. <laughs> okay. So she wants green eyeshadow. Okay, green. Green, 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 green. Green. Olive green. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Next eyelid. Oh my god, no. No! Trying to freaking fix it. Okay. I guess that's okay. Oh my god. The other one's too thick. Then let's make this one thicker. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Next, you want green contact lenses. Okay. And then you want black coal. Coal. This one. Next, you want double buns hairstyle with sticks. This one? No, no, no. This one. Then you want it red. Okay. That's not red. Is that red? This one. Ooh, now she looks cool. And then you want... Not filed green nail varnish. Uh... With Asian stickers. Do we have do we even okay? Oh, good, we have green. Okay, let's start. I no longer care if it smudges or not. The usually the thumb and the freaking ring finger have freaking 
problems with the uh, nail polish. It always smudges like that, so I no longer try to fix it. I'm tired. I'm burned out. Yeah, sometimes the pinky too. So that's fine. And then you want Asian stickers. Okay. How about dragon? <laughs> it's too big. Oh my god. Do we even. Is this Asian? No. You know what? Um. What's this? This is tribal though. Fine, let's do the dragon. Ew! Yeah, that's that's good. Almost perfect. <laughs> okay. Do we even have quests? Let's check. Okay, no, we don't have any uh, quests, so let's continue. The magazine tissue paper is an important and very demanding client. Give this task careful thought and be sure to do your survey- Your survey? What? Your very best. Don't let me down. Okay. So... You want a tiered skirt with strappy top or plunging neckline. Strappy top. This one? No. But this is strappy, right? Ooh, that's a sexy, uh... But she doesn't want that. What about this one? Okay, she wants that one. A uh, strappy top with plunging neckline. I guess that's the only, uh, yeah. And then you want a tiered, tiered skirt. Tiered. This one, or do you want this one? Okay, she wants this one better. So let's give you this one. And a wrap over top. Wrap over. We have that right. This one. Okay. Uh, your blouse isn't fitting, though. I don't like your, uh, blouse. Okay, she's fine with this one. Okay, let's stick with that one, and then... You want it green and black with Asian patterns. Gotcha. Green and black. So let's make this one black, of course. And the inner one's green. This one. And this one. I don't know. Maybe. Or why not the other way around? The, the inside. Oh my god, I freaking removed her <laughs> clothing. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, what about like that? Maybe this one. Same. It's, it's still freaking green. Um, I don't know. I want it bright green though. Okay, let's... Let's make it like that. And then you want Asian patterns. Asian patterns and prints. 
Okay, let's put a print. <laughs> it, it's not freaking visible. Wait. Let's just put this here. Yeah, that's a good that's a good place. No. No, oh my god. Wait. Let's change it back. What about here? What? What? That looks weird. No. Stop moving. About here. Well, that's a better place, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh my god. I think the first one is much better, so yeah. Okay, let's let's place it here. No! Oh my god. I'm trying my best not to mess it up, but I always do. Here. No, it's between your that's that's just freaking awkward. Stop moving! Oh my god. Here. Ah, good. Much better. Over the line. And then... Yeah, Asian patterns. Prints. Asian patterns. What about bamboo? Do you... Is bamboo okay? No. What about waves? No. What about... Yeah, clouds, since you have a dragon symbol. So let's make that one... No. Oh my god. Light green. Okay. Should we place some in here? It looks weird though. No, that's 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 just too much. Oh my god. Oh, I I'm stupid. We can remove the freaking prints over there. Okay. Next, you want black stiletto sandals. Black stiletto sandals. Stiletto. This one. And then you don't want any accessories. Stiletto. That's black! Oh my god. Do we have other stiletto sandals though? Oh, that's almost perfect. This one. No, we don't have black for that one though. What about this? Or this? Uh, okay, you want sandals. Let's stick with the geisha sandals. Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay. All right, more missions. Great. Let's save. Photography. Let's start. Right, I've seen what you've done so far. It's very good. It would be a real shame to spoil it all now with poor quality photos. Give it your all. Okay. So, she wants three vertical photos, no filter, in a zen garden. Portrait or head and shoulders composition. In a zen garden. So, like this one? Yeah. Okay. Head and shoulders or portrait. Let's stick with the head and shoulders. My god, she blinked. Well, that's 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 not too bad. Hmm. 
Next, you want two horizontal photos, no filter, spring garden background, full length. Okay. No, it's blurry! Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. Let's... Uh, get this one, this one, and this one. This one, this one, no. This one, this one. Perfect! Yes. Ooh, that's cool. So we got 375 tokens for that and 450 fame. We also got a uh, lot of bottoms, actually two bottoms, so let's... Oh wow! Well done, you've reached the highest level. You are now a fashion star. Your Sullivan style com company. Factory's most renowned designer. Yay. The managing director of the magazine has contacted me in person to congratulate us. They love the photos we sent them. Good. They better. Oh shoot, more missions? Really? Aw, oh, but I want to continue with the freaking story. Okay, 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 more missions. Okay, let's do this. Cinema, detective film, Belinda Houston is appearing in a gangster film set during American Prohibition. Okay. Dear girl, have you ever seen an American police film shot in the 30s? You know, Prohibition, Al Capone, shootouts in the streets of Chicago? Good! You shouldn't have any trouble then in designing an outfit from that era. Okay, so first you want a waist ghost, waist ghost with an integrated white shirt. I think I bought that one. Wait a minute. Do I have that one? Yeah, this one and then... Yep, this one. Next, you want a masculine cut jacket and dress trousers. So, masculine cut this one. I actually want it closed, so let's do that one. And then trousers. You want trousers. Okay, she wants stripe prints. No, 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 no. Stripe patterns. Stripes. This one? That looks weird though. What about thin ones? Wait, let's check. I want this one. Okay. And you want it black and gray. Okay. Uh, let's make this one black. 
then let's make this one freaking like that. I don't know. Dude, I suck at freaking colors. But yeah, and then let's make this one gray. Okay. Next, you want to wear mocass moccasins or mochas. I don't know. Dude. Okay, this one. Any color, right? Yeah. And then you want a felt hat. Okay, felt hat. Yay, we got it perfect! <laughs> Mrs. Doherty, I've got bad news. The animals have been set free. <gasps> they knew, dude. What? I know, it seems crazy, but someone has set the animals free. I've just been down to the laboratory and all the cages are empty. Who could have done that? Clara Willard, probably. I've already caught her snooping around in the basement. Now she's really gone too far. We must stop her from talking. Mike, you know what needs to be done. Understood, Mrs. Doherty. I'll take care of it. Oh my god, what is he gonna do? <gasps> Hey, what's going on? Help! Help! What the F? Wait, did you just drug her? What? Um... What the F, dude? Ow, my head! What happened? Where am I? It looks like the security post. Yeah, it is. I must let Nelson know what's going on here. He needs to know the whole truth. Can we even call him? Oh. Uh. Ah, uh, no signal. Fudge. This is no good. Oh my god. Oh, what do we do? <laughs> um Wait, let's try the door. Obviously, this is locked. This door's locked. Oh, there's no point in forcing it. I'm stuck in here. This passageway must lead to the corridor. Unfortunately, it's too small for me to go down. What's that noise? It sounds like a dog sniffing. Marty, is that you? Here, Marty. That's it. Here, boy. He's so stubborn. I need to find something to coax him over here with. That should do it. Marty loves games. You. Here, Marty! What a good boy you are! Now listen carefully. I want you to go and find Scott and bring him back here. Scott, you know who he is, right? You don't? Oh, shoot. How can I get him to understand? I've got an idea. If I get you to sniff something that belongs to Scott, I'm sure you'll go and find him. Here, Marty. Sniff this. Scott gave it to me. Go and find him, quick!
What's wrong, Marty? Hey, what's that in your mouth? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, that's Clara's bracelet. Where did you find that? Has something happened to Clara? Is she in danger? Okay, show me the way. I'm right behind you. Clara, are you there? Can you hear me? Scott, I'm so happy you found me. I'm locked in the security post. Get me out of here. Don't panic. I'll get you out. I need to find a way of opening this door. Who could have the keys? Obviously, it's freaking Mike. So I'm guessing he's in the common room. Well, he was found there. Oh, we... Uh, he freaking drugged Clara in that... Yeah. <laughs> I'm correct. Oh my god, we can't talk to him. There's I... Mike. Yeah. And the bunch of keys is right there on the counter. How can I take them without him noticing? I can hardly steal them before his very eyes. I need to try and distract him. I've got no good reason to talk to Mike. Besides, I don't like him one bit. Carol? Who's speaking? It's Scott Sullivan. I haven't got time to explain. Your friend Clara is in trouble. I need you to help me get her out of this mess she's in. Oh, God. Now what's she done? I'll tell you about it later. Can you meet me in the lobby? Okay. I'm on my way. Hello, Scott. So, what's going on? This is the situation. Mike's holding Clara prisoner in the security post. What? Let me finish. I need Mike's keys to get Clara out of there. Mike's always in the cafeteria at this time. The keys are on the counter, right in front of him. I want you to distract him while I borrow his keys. That doesn't sound easy. He'll be suspicious. We've never spoken to each other. It's our only chance. You have to help us. Okay. But I'm not promising anything. I don't know the first thing about him. How am I supposed to come up with topics of conversation that might interest him? You've worked with him for ages. You must know a bit about him, don't you? He's very secretive. The only thing I know about him is that he hates television. That he used to be a soldier and that a few years ago he worked for the FBI. Oh, and he hates Kim's dog, Marty. That should keep you going. It'll be fine, trust me. Okay, I'll give it a go. Hi, Mike. Hello. Do you remember me? Carol Springfield. I've been working at Style Factory for a year now. I know we don't know each other very well. In fact, not many people socialize around here. We've always got so much work to do. But that's no excuse to go around ignoring one another, is it? If you say so. I'm on my coffee break. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Everyone always says I'm a real chatterbox. Did you see the last episode of the series, A Scientist at the FBI, last night? Are you interested in the FBI, Miss Springfield? I spent three years of my life working there, and believe you me, the people who make those programs don't know the first thing about it. That's precisely why I never watch television. 
I already spend enough time as it is watching the security monitors for the building. Are you one of those people who waste all their time watching television? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit like you. I hardly ever put the TV on, but I make an exception for that series. I couldn't agree more. It's better not to spend too much time in front of the television. I tend to think that all television has done is create a generation of backward imbeciles. Fortunately, I've always maintained the discipline and strict moral code that was drummed into me while I was in the army. Discipline and strict moral code? That doesn't sound like a barrel of laughs. Don't get what? me wrong. I, didn't I know how that. to relax and enjoy myself when I get the chance. As soon as I have some free time, I go deer hunting in the woods with my old army pals. I spent five years in the Delta Force Commandos, and then I worked for the FBI. That was when I met Mrs. Doherty. So you know Mrs. Doherty well. I think she should treat the staff a bit better, don't you? She has nothing to hide, and as the managing director, she certainly isn't answerable to any trainee. Kim is a wonderful woman. Mr. Sullivan is a very lucky man to have her by his side. But she should really get rid of that measly mud of hers. If it were up to me, I'd have taken it to the kennels a long time ago, or left it on the side of a road somewhere. I know. I've had just about enough of him sniffing around all over the place. What he needs is a good leash. I couldn't agree more. I still can't figure out why Nelson even lets that mutt in the building. Mr. Sullivan clearly lacks authority. Besides, he should really keep a better check on his son. It's true that Scott could show Kim a bit more respect. After all, she's never done anything to him. I couldn't agree more. Anyway, he won't be able to make it on his own in life. One of these days, he'll have to stop being angry with everyone. You're right. It's better to have friends than enemies. That sounds like something straight out of a woman's magazine, if you ask me. Brilliant. Mike is completely absorbed by our conversation. He's not even worried about where his keys are. It's working. Mike's deep in conversation with Carol. Now's the time to make my move. Got it. Now quick, let's go and free Clara. At last! Thank you, Scott. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thought I was going to have to spend the night in that rat hole. Wait. That's it? What? Yeah, that was it. Lol. Okay, uh, let's continue more uh, quests. So, photography, let's go. I'm sorry to tell you this, but the film's producer doesn't have faith in your work. So, before agreeing to buy your designs, he wants to see some photos of them. I presume you know how to use a camera. Okay. So, you want two vertical photos, no filter. 30s Chicago background. This one? Okay, portrait. I don't want that posing. Okay, next you want three horizontal photos, uh, sepia or black and white filter. 
30 Chicago background, head and shoulders, or full length. Okay. Let's do full length. Okay, so... Um... I want this one... This one. And then this one... This one, and... This one? Oh, almost perfect. Fudge! Our producer was bowled, bowled over by the uh, photos you sent him. He even said that he'll more than likely be calling on your services again for his next films. Okay, uh, more missions. Let's save first. Then let's go. Uh, urchin for it. Okay, we don't have that. What about this? Okay, we're complete with this, so. Okay. Mary Sue O'Connell is releasing her new album, Lost in Kansas. She needs a photo for the album album cover. Okay. So, I'm guessing beauty first? I forgot. Oh my god. No, not beauty first. What the heck? Um, design? You know what, let's just- yeah, it's design, let's start. <laughs> LOL. As you know, Clara, my latest album was inspired by Texan culture, and I want that to shine through on the album cover. Are you familiar with traditional Texan dress? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh my god. So, you want leather jeans or trousers, leather bustier, and cropped fur jacket. Do we even have that? Oh my god, do we have leather? I don't think we have leather. This is just a strapless top. Kinda like this one. What about this? You don't have any leather. Oh my god. Leather bustier. Maybe we have. Okay, this one. This is leather. Next, you want leather jeans or trousers. Leather... leather jeans. I don't think we have those. Oh, this is leather. 
Good. Next, you want a cropped fur jacket. This one. This is leather, though. This one. This one she wants. Next, you want it to be pink or red. Okay, um, let's make this red. I don't want that pink. Let's just make it red. Okay, next. No patterns or prints. You want pink or red leather boots? Um, I want that red. Okay, and then you want brown or pink cowboy hat. I want it brown. Next, you want pink rock star glasses. Oh my god, do we even. Oh, okay, we have. Whew. What a relief. Wait, are these rock star glasses? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're done. Almost perfect. <laughs> okay, let me just save again. And then continue more missions. Jewelry. It would be a real shame not to have a few pieces of local style jewelry to go with the Texan outfit. Do you think you could take care of that for me, Clara? Okay, so... You want a large gold necklace. Large gold necklace, half filled with cream or pink feather shaped beads. Feather shaped. Do we even have that? I think it's an ethnic, yeah. This is hair though. Cream? Wait. Yeah, cream. Or is it just... Oh my god. Um... Beads, though. Let's try this. Do we have feather-shaped beads for that? Feather-shaped. I don't think we have. Eh, no. What about this? Let's try. Oh, it's fine. Half filled? Okay, next 
You want a gold bracelet. Gold or... Okay. Just one? Okay. Gold or bronze or copper tubes. Should it be half filled? Nothing. Okay. So let's make that filled. Okay. Next you want gold clips. Feather shaped. Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay. Let's save again. And then last photography. Clara, your model is stunning. You've captured the very essence of my latest album. Now all you need to do is to move on to the last but most important stage of the process. Take the photo we'll use on the album cover. Okay, you want three horizontal photos. Horizontal or vertical. Oh my god. And then no filter in a western or desert background. Western. We have okay, this is Western. No filter and any composition. Okay. What the heck? It's blurry. Okay, want this one, this one, this one. No, this, this one. Okay, easy. <laughs> Thank you, Clara. I'm delighted with your work. I hope we'll have the chance to work together again in the future. Okay, so more missions. Oh my god. Okay. No problem. Um Great eye shadow. Wait. Um, okay. Let's buy stuff in the uh, shopping center.
Okay, we're now complete with the requirements, so... Cinema, urchin for a day. The renowned advertising mogul John Clark is planning the launch of a new perfume urchin for a day. Okay, let's start. For our tomboy look, we need the makeup to be very subtle with a matte foundation. Whatever you do, keep it simple. What I don't want is ridiculously long eyelashes or luscious lips plastered in bright red lip gloss. Are we quite clear about that? Okay, I got you. So you want copper sun or mocha foundation? Copper sun. Mocha. This one? Okay. Okay, next you want pink blusher, no lipstick. Okay. And then you want very short hairstyle, natural colors. Very, very short. Wait, is that Mo Monica? Wait, Monica? I forgot. Yeah, Monica, I think is your name. Monica. Just Monica. Very short, right? Very short hairstyle. This one? I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay, next you want filed white nail varnish, no stickers. Hmm. 
Okay, we we do have white. Okay, let's start. Okay, we're done. Okay, great eyeshadow and subtle eyelashes. So I'm guessing we're wrong with the eyelashes. Okay. Shadow. This is already gray though. Contact lenses. Uh, right contact lenses. Okay, whatever. We need to put an end to all of this and come up with a plan to catch Kim. But for that, I'm going to need the help of my two friends. Oh, finally another story. Two friends. Uh, I know it's Carol. Maybe it's Scott, the second one? Hello, Carol. It's Clara. Can you come and meet me in the street? I'll be just in front of the building. Okay, I'm on my way. Scott, it's Clara. Can you meet me in the street in front of the building? Okay, I'll be right there. See you in a sec. Now's the time to go for it. Hi, you two. I wanted to thank you for coming to my rescue. That was a close call. You can say that again. But it hasn't put me off. Kim set me up. Now it's my turn to set her up. What are you planning? Carol, I'd like you to persuade Kim into meeting me by telling her about the photos I took in the lab. Not to mention the animals she's been doing tests on for Eclat Ardent. A reminder that it's illegal to capture protected species. She'll be furious, so she'll definitely turn up. I'll be waiting for her on the 20th floor. Okay, uh, photos about the Eclat Ardent 
and the illegal it's illegal to capture protected species okay and what are you hoping to achieve from this meeting i want to get her talking make her own up to what she's been doing meanwhile scott you'll be hiding in the room recording everything she says and where am i going to get a tape recorder just look around there's probably one in the store cupboard okay i'll think of something so carol do you understand what you have to do yes it's easy but i don't really want to talk to kim you have to carol there's no other way around it so are you on board okay yes thanks so let's do it i'm going to go straight up to the balcony Okay, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Now it's up to them. Where am I going to get a hold of a tape recorder? And I'll start by looking in my office. It's such a mess in here. I'd be amazed if I found a tape recorder in all this trash. Hang on, what was I thinking? I'd completely forgotten I had one. Clara, I'm a bit confused. What exactly is it I'm supposed to be doing? Hide so you can record my conversation with Kim. And you need a tape recorder. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember now. Thanks. Aha! That's what I was looking for. This is the perfect spot. Right, my turn now. I mustn't forget to tell Kim about the lab photos, the Eclat Ardent containers, and the dangerous experiments carried out on protected species. Kim must be in the management office. It should all go according to plan. Let's go for it. Mrs. Doherty, could I have a word? Of course, Carol. What can I do for you? Can anyone overhear us? Of course not, but why do you ask? I'll get straight to the point if you don't mind. For a few weeks now, my friend Clara has suspected you of being involved in animal trafficking for Style Factory. Well, now she's got proof of just that, and... Isn't Miss Willard capable of doing her own dirty work? That's not the point. Clara would like you to join her on the Sullivan Tower balcony. If you go, then she's prepared to show you the proof she's got and do a deal with you. What kind of proof, exactly? Photos taken of the helicopter when it was delivering the animal cages. The helicopter is used to transport what our the stock. Fuck? I didn't choose it delivers that. containers like that every day. Even if what you say is true, none of that proves my involvement in this business. You're wrong. The photos show a Clardant prototypes that haven't yet been marketed. If that were true, I'd just make sure those photos were destroyed. Perfect. I think Kim's starting to take the bait. Anyway, what you're forgetting, my dear girl, is that those animals were bought quite legally from specialist breeders. Your accusations are completely unfounded. That's not true. A number of the animals used for testing are protected species. There must be some mistake. I can certainly prove that. Just think about it for a moment. How on earth would we possibly go about testing creams and lipsticks on furry animals? 
You use hairless dogs and even fish. Hairless dogs? You mean those Peruvian breeds? Do you know how much those dogs cost? It would be an awful waste of money to use them in animal testing. Brilliant. Everything's going according to plan. I and anyway, just how would our company benefit from us carrying out these kinds of tests? There's nothing in it for us. If you test your products on animals, you can see if they have any dangerous side effects. And what effects would those be? Are you implying our cosmetics are dangerous? Now you really are going too far. I won't allow anyone to derail my masterpiece. You don't leave me any choice but to call the police. Be careful. The police would open their own investigation. I doubt that a police inspector would be interested in a few runaway animals from an empty laboratory. I'm not doing too badly. I never thought I was such a good actress. And how do I know that you're not just setting me up? How can I believe what you're saying is true? Wait, what? Did did freaking Carol just uh read Kim's <laughs> dialogue? Oh my god, so much errors in this game. But okay. Think about it, Kim. Do you really think that Clara and I would put our jobs here on the line? You're not the only one who wants to succeed. I really ought to tell Nelson about your blackmailing ways. He would both be fired on the spot. But I'm quite intrigued to see this evidence of yours. So, yes, I'll meet Clara on the balcony. Tell her I'll be there in just a moment. Clara, darling, you really could have been a very promising trainee, you know. But you had to go and poke your nose in my business. So, where is all this so-called proof you're so anxious to talk to me about? This file. Give it to me. Now, now. First, I want you to promise me there won't be any more animal trafficking at Style Factory. My dear girl, will you never understand? This all just goes over your head, doesn't it? You have no idea what the Ikla Ardan line means to our company. The testing we do here is useful. Without it, it would take us years to get our products on the shelves. Years lost to the competition. But it's illegal. So, do you actually think you can be the world's number one in cosmetics with such a passive approach? What planet are you living on? Now I've had enough of this. Hand over those documents and make it fast. No, I don't trust you. You've done it now, Clara. I did warn you not to poke your nose into our affairs, but you just wouldn't listen. Now you know too much. Far too much. Ah! Uh, help! Scott! Kim, stop that right now! Have you lost your mind? Uh, get your hands off of me! Kim, I suggest you calm down. See this tape recorder? I recorded the whole conversation. If the press got their hands on this... And you really think they'd be interested in that? You've got nothing on me. A few photos, some rumors. You need a lot more than that to interest the press. Huh. I'm going. You're no match for me. We'll see. 10 out of 10 graphics. Clara, I think Kim's trying to get away. You need to warn my father, quick. Okay, I'm going to go and pick up the photos that fell off the balcony. When Nelson sees them, he won't be able to deny what's been going on anymore. Good thinking. See you in the showroom. Oh my god, do we really have to... Freaking find everything? Oh yeah, fudge. Oh my god, where? Where? Oh my god. This one, um... Wait, I saw something. No. It's just me. Okay, this one... Let's check this side. I don't think there's any... 
there, so. This one. Okay, that's all of them. Let's go and find Scott. Can I make a save? Okay, I can't. Sad. Okay, let's talk to Scott. Dad, I've got something important to tell you. If it's still about... Listen to me. When I told you that Kim had been dealing in animal trafficking, you told me that I'd made the whole thing up, do you remember? Indeed. Well, Clara has got proof of it. Irrefutable proof. What proof? I'd like to see that. Just look at these photos. I'll admit that it doesn't look good, but this could be a setup. Well, perhaps you'll at least recognize your wife's voice. Listen to this recording. My God, I don't believe it. Was that Kim saying that? So, now do you believe us? Where is she? I think she owes me an explanation. The helicopter, quick, it's about to take off. I can hear the propellers. No, this can't be happening. We've got to stop them getting away. There's no point, Scott. There's nothing we can do. What? Really? And then more quests? Oh, what do we do? Seriously? Yeah, more quests. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> okay. Next is design, so let's start... Young lady, for an advertising campaign, we're after a very masculine type of character. Think of Victor Hugo's Gavroche in Les Miserables. Les Miserables. Think peaked cap, turned up trousers, gray suit, but a lot more classier and chic. And without all the misery. Do you see what I'm getting at? Shut up, John. So you want a white shirt or asymmetric waistcoat? Asymmetric waistcoat. Okay, white shirt. This one? Okay, this one. Is that boyish? I don't know. Boyish jacket. Okay. This one. And then you want three fourth length suit trousers. Um, okay. Next, you want silk pop socks. What the flip is that? This one. Okay. Next, you don't want any prints, but you want pinstripes. Does it look like the pinstripe? This one? No? Oh, good. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wrong item. Um. Okay, let's try it again. Pinstripe. Okay, not that. This? No. What the heck is a pinstripe? That one? What the heck is a pinstripe? Oh my god. I don't know, dude. But first, let's just... Let's make it gray and black. And then this one color. I guess? I don't know. Let's change the 
I don't freaking know what a pinstripe is. Whatever. Okay. Then this kind of shoes. And then no. Okay, or black boots. Uh, I prefer boots, but is this even black? That's brown, though. But whatever. Okay, you want a leather cap. Okay, and then short black gloves. No, that's not short. Is this short? I don't think so. This. Okay, perfect! <laughs> Alright, more quests. Next one, photography. So far, you've done a great job, but you've still got the final stage to go. Taking the photos, the most important part of the process, so please, don't go and ruin it now. Take some great photos. Okay. So you want two horizontal or vertical, no filter, next to a fountain. I know just the thing. This is a fountain, right? Okay. Full length or head and shoulders. Okay. Okay, I want this one, this one... No. Uh, what about this one? Okay, perfect! <laughs> Fantastic work! You've really got to grips with... Uh, what, what, what? You've really got to grips with what our advertising campaign is all about. Our client seems very happy with our work and especially with yours. Well done. Okay. Thanks. Okay, more missions. Um... Okay, let's do the... wait. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, we're complete with the requirements, so... okay. Add Far North Expedition. The travel agency Alaska Adventure orders a photo to advertise its trips to the Far North. Okay. I want to use a beautiful Canadian girl in my advertisement. If you haven't got any Canadian girls working for you, I suggest you improvise a bit with makeup. Okay, so you want mocha foundation. Okay. Mm, this is mocha. No, this one. Okay. Let's start.
Okay, we're done with the foundation. Next, you want orangey, brick or burnt, sienna blusher, and lipstick. Okay. Sienna. Do you have that? Brick, mahogany, apricot. Okay, let's stick with the brick. This one? Okay. Okay. Brick or sienna. Have Sienna. Okay, next you want long brown eyelashes, caramel, hazel, or amber contact lenses. Well, I have caramel over here. So let's stick with that. And then brown eyelashes. Okay. You want long and plated. Long and plated. This one? What color do you want? Black, brown, or auburn? Okay. Varnish. Okay.
Okay. Uh, more missions. Next. We get to dress her up. Although the far north is seen as hostile terrain, I want my advertisement to be glamorous. A beautiful young woman dressed as a trapper is more evocative than a heavy set hairy lumberjack, don't you think? Okay, mm, we have to give her a figure hugging leather trousers and top. Okay, leather again. Leather. No, 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 not that one, but this one. This is leather. Yeah. Same with a while ago. Indian patterns on the top. Indian. Do we even have Indian patterns? Let's check. These are Victorian. I don't think we have Indian though. Or I just don't know what what does an Indian pattern look like. How about this, no? Indian Wait, let's adjust the color first So Let's make this one brown sienna Burnt sienna Is this brick? Okay This one brown. I don't know what pattern. <laughs> What's an Indian pattern? Oh god, no. Not this one. But your top. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try all freaking patterns. I don't think there's an Indian pattern available here. So... Let's stick with this one, whatever. Next, you want... Black or brown leather boots.
Okay. Next, you want blacker brown cowboy hat. Short black gloves. Short black gloves. Okay, let's make let's make the cowboy hat black. Since the gloves are gonna be black. Okay. Okay. Almost perfect. <laughs> okay. Let's save. And then, next quest jewelry. I'd like my advertisement to showcase the local craftsmanship. What could be better than displaying American Indian jewelry? Okay, so you want two black leather necklaces, half filled with wood, shell feather, and or turquoise Indian beads. Okay. Wait, how many again? Two. Okay. Uh, ethnic. I want shells though. And then, I don't know. Beads? No, oh my god. Oh, I have an idea. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just do the same. Next, you want three black leather bracelets. Okay. Wood shell, feather, or turquoise. Should it be filled? Yeah, it should be filled, so let's do this. Okay, next, bronze clips, two wood shell, okay. Aw, almost perfect. Okay. Okay, on to the photography.
You've produced some great work so far. Now all you need to do is immortalize your ideas. Get me two high quality shots and our work will be done. Dun dun dun. Two vertical photos, no filter, snowy background. This one. Any composition, good. Okay, I want this one, this one. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. You've done brilliantly. When they see my advertisement, people are going to be going in droves to the Canadian far north. Let's hope they stop by an agency on the way. By my agency. Okay guys, I think I'll be ending my uh, stream here. I'll be coming back later. So yeah, see you later. Kinda sleepy. So yep.